Oh, Libra, how are you doing? Oh my God, the lies and bullshit. Elijah, what are you doing, Elijah? <laughs> but listen, <laughs> listen, listen, militia, the militia or the Melissa or the M. Who on earth is it? Listen, it's something to do with the militia. So that's like war, that's fighting, that's nine of swords, man. You're dealing with a liar, narc, narcissistic, lying out my back teeth. I mean, I can't get away from... Why is it that when I do a Libra reading, man, do I have to come on here and start talking about all this bullshit and lies? Because it just seems to be floating, bruv. I don't know, floating around. It's like getting around, getting around in, getting around in. I'm definitely picking up a uh, python. No, this night ain't lying. No, this night he ain't lying. He's like, no, he ain't lying. I know I'm not a lion, but Leo might be. Listen, I am a lion, and I am Zion, iron, and I'm lion. Whoever it is, there might be a lying Leo. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Leo is what I'm hearing. What on earth do I do with them? They just keep lying out of their back teeth. Or whoever it is that you're... Uh, listen... Everybody, when I do a channel message or any reading or any tarot reading, right, don't go and make conflict and war with the person that you're not seeing or had conflict with in the past. Right? Move on, move away, you know. Just look for the people or whoever this relates to, the people that you're having conflict and war with, <laughs> right? That's obvious, right? But um, I'm hearing, like, that whoever this is is compromising you that you feel the most compromised with could be lying their back teeth off. Now, I don't know what this is for, because obviously the circumstance you're in, it's got to it's gonna require action. You know, you can't just sit there with info for ages. Because I'm hearing, like, it's all like I've got a load of information, but I am not doing anything with it. Like, and I'm hearing I am not doing anything with my life either. I am just lying to myself. I mean, spirit's not got your back, people. Right? They have, but your karma means leave. Right, it means drop it. It means that if you're ah, it means that you have to stop. Now, if this is drugs and it's not going right, it means that you have to stop doing it. No one's going to help you, right? You might look for help that can help you, but at the end of the day, it's only you that can do it. So, if there's drugs, you have to stop. If there's crime, you have to get away from the people that do crime, right? If you're in a compromised marriage, then you have to get divorced. If you're in a circumstance where you're held against your will, then you're in fucking prison. But if you are not in prison, then you have to put yourself first, which means that if you've got children and kids, you have to think of them, which means that you have to let them be, sort yourself out, right? When you're sorting yourself out, you can think clearly and your life starts to become more of a plan of like, right, now I'm out of it, I can now get that person out of it. But whilst you stay in, a situation that you're in, like a job or a fucking compromised energy, you have to take yourself out. And everybody says, yeah, I know, Steve, about putting yourself first. And like if someone's told me that if I'm on a plane and, you know, and I've got kids and like the oxygen mask comes down, that I'm supposed to take oxygen and then like, you know, so I can save my kids. You're not on a fucking plane, right? You're in life. You're in the fucking matrix. You, you, got, you don't get lost between ultimate realities and live in illusion and think that, you know what, I'm in a situation, I'm fucking trapped. What do I do to get out of it? I can't leave because the narc is kind of fighting with me over children and God knows what else, right? So all I can do is, is sort myself out. I've got to think of me first because ultimately thinking about me in an ultimate reality, things will turn out for the best when I've sorted myself out and then I can go back for my children when I've sorted myself out. Now, if this is clean drugs and drinking, and I'm an addict, then I have to sort my life out in order to fight to get my children back. Because you have to prove strength. You have to prove yourself as a worthy human being for kids and so on and so forth, right? Not all of you are on drugs, <laughs> right? But, you know, you have to prove that to oneself and prove it. So you've got to prove the circumstance that you're in is wrong. Right, that is wrong, wrongdoing and everything else. But when you deal with narcissism, you can't really prove that unless you've got evidence, right? Which means physical abuse, not mental. Physical abuse, scars, you know, beating up, slapping. If there's fighting, fucking record it, you know, record it. Because, like, you know, I don't know why I'm picking this up, but obviously it's got to be present, right? Record it, get evidence. If you've got all of these things, then why the hell are you keeping hold of it and not doing anything about it. You know, 
because I mean is this the coronavirus that's stopping things but if you've had a plan of escape because I think I'm talking to women here right because this can happen to men too but I really pick up this message for women you're in a compromised energy right you have to have a plan of action to get out and the only thing that you can normally do for sometimes is to go and get help from a friend or family member where you can live right and you go there and you stay there and you live there Eight of Swords. It's a nice place to visit, but I don't think I could stay there long. Right? So the Eight of Swords I'm in, very fucking compromised, very tight, very can't fucking move, can't breathe. You've got to walk out of the Eight of Swords and have action. You can't just stay there forever and just think, well, you know, spirit will fucking do... No, 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 no. You've got to move. You've got to get out and you've got to go towards a brighter future for yourself. Get yourself out. Then you can breathe. Then you can think clearly. Your karma is like, ah, you get it. <laughs> yeah. Right. See? A slap. What on earth is this where it's coming to physical violence of slapping? I mean, what the fuck? Y'all can't put up with that bullshit. You can't put up with that off a person. Jesus. Because I pick up physical violence, mental abuse, and. I mean, you might do this as a job. I don't know. But I'm picking up, like, physical violence. In families, like slapping, and people don't even know the fact that someone's doing it, or the, well, the person that fucking's on the other end of it knows, you know. But you know, the only way you can ever really get out of physical, mental violence is by getting out of physical, mental violence, because you are not going to know your head from your asshole when you are not gaslit, knocked off, right? You have to get yourself out, get yourself clean, get yourself pick up, right? Pick yourself up. Right, off the floor, dust yourself off, class it as a loss, get over it, right? When you all can think clean and can think clearly and you've got a plan, then you can start putting that into action. Evidence. Everything that you've built up and you've got up, right? Evidence. Right? You have to have evidence. If you haven't, you you've you can stay in that for fucking years and think, you know what, I'm gonna stay in this marriage, I'm gonna stay in this shit, right? Forever. Because I can't get out. So for the kids, I'm just going to stay here, do nothing, stay in it, keep my head down, and hope for the fucking best. That's not fight and strength. That's weakness. Right? That is, don't get it mixed. Don't get mixed up with what strength is. Strength isn't, well, I'm just strong. I'm independent. I can stay here for fucking ever because I'm going to keep fighting these people till the end of fucking time, until someone gives. <laughs> right, that's weakness. That's not proving yourself right. That's proving yourself wrong. That you've got something to prove the fact that you're a person that can fight these people. No, can you fuck? No. You give up. Let them have it, right? And I normally say with children, the way you can only really help them is by. Because, trust me, you can be in this circumstance where it's involving kids for a long time, like a long time, right? And you can think, well, I can't leave my child with this person because they're fucking fruitless, right? So I can't do that. So I'm going to have to stay here to protect my child where I can't protect myself from a masculine energy that fucking beats me, right? So what's the child witnessing through all of that, right? So this person is fucking mis misery, loves company, fucking fighting, God knows what else, causing fucking havoc. The child's watching it. The child's probably seeing you get physically, mentally abused, right? The child's going to end up being fucking more mentally disturbed and, and abused by you staying in the circumstance than proving yourself the fact, you know what? I'm sorry, but I'm just going to have to leave you for a sec while I go and fucking sort this out and be a man or be a woman, you know, and go and fucking sort it out for my kids, which is, I am not going to leave you, but you're not going to believe this for a start because you're too young. But I fucking know what I'm doing. Right. Take leadership. Don't be a follower. Don't be a fucking sheep. Be a leader. Right. Be someone that breaks the chain of your karma. That gets out. You're lucky to get out alive. Right. So you get out. You do all of the things that you can that is legal. Right. Seek help, support, phone numbers. Look it up. Right. Physical, mental abuse. Trust me, a narc will get fed up with a child after a while because they'll realise, well, I'm now I'm lumbered with a person that ain't here that I can control, right? So trust me, there will start being signs of that. I'm sorry, I know this is very fucking awkward around kids and children because obviously you're not going to want to do that. 
But really look at how long that's been going on and how worse that could fucking get the longer you stay in it not doing anything about it. Right? The longer you stay there and the longer that you do this, the longer it goes on and the longer you just keep thinking, well, well, eventually someone else is bound to just drop down fucking dead, so I'll just keep doing that until the end of time. You've got to be dealing with Scorpio energy maybe somewhere around you. But like, I'll just keep doing that until the end of fucking time, you know. You've got to... Fuck moods. Let's go on with your tarot, right? Because are you going to do it? No. <laughs> no. Steve, are you wasting your time? Do we know what you're saying? Steve is right, yeah. But how many times have you said Steve or anybody, yeah, I know you're right. But fucking two ones don't make a white unless you're from China. Unless you're fucking doing the old China white cocaine. Yeah, that's definitely not white. <laughs> it's probably brown. You're probably doing heroin as well. I don't know. Because I'm seeing a snowball, bruv. <laughs> <laughs> snowball effect let's just pick up everybody on our way and fucking cause loads of people on the way down let's just take every motherfucker down with us right this is what I'm saying someone has got evidence and I'm just about to fucking take every motherfucker down with me everybody's going down oh dear <laughs> everybody's going down everybody's going down mm. someone's got evidence here and everybody's going down I mean take them with you that's what I'm saying. Take every motherfucker down. You know, take them down. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. Take them down. Show your hands. Someone's taking their knickers down, maybe. I've got no idea where that's coming from. But I'm taking them down, all right, for somebody. I'll take them down for you, but I ain't taking them down for you. <laughs> I'll take them down for myself in time where I will take them to see you. what. Now, if you've got some good, bad, weird, strange energy, Libra. I'll take them down, up and down like a yo-yo. <laughs> what is it? An accordion? A recordion. Record it. You see, record it. Record it, Ricardo. Or record it, Recky. Ricky. Wreck. The Wreck. See, that's a horror film where they were recording it. Right? Record it. Someone's really taking down what someone says or what someone does and they're recording it as, an, as evidence against people. That's what you should be doing. Right. Taking down. Taking these people down. Well, in a way, no. Not if you're fighting the government, no. You'll never win that. <laughs> right. I think a lot of this is a Kirsty or a custody battle or a fucking narc situation. Or like fighting the government. I mean, that's, you don't fight the government. Jesus. You're going to fight the government. You are not Batman or Superman. Right, you can't fight the government. You can't fight NWA. You know. More of an attitude problem. Someone's got attitude problem. If they've got an attitude problem, just get out. Stop watching. Anyway. Let's see. Libra. <laughs> Libra. Libra. What's been going on, Libra? Jesus, what has been going on? Your worst fucking nightmare is what's been going on, Libra. Jesus. Yeah, I'm a mum. I'm just waiting on people hand and foot. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, go on then. I'll do the shopping, the cooking, the cleaning, the homeschooling. I'll fucking do everything. But my love life is an absolute shambles and this is my worst nightmare that I decided to get married. <laughs> yeah, I decided to have children, now i got to live in it. But it's my worst nightmare, what on earth do I do? It's an awakening, so spirit is telling me to wait. No, is it fuck spirit telling you to wait? Spirit's telling you to get out. <laughs> That's what it is, That's the reverse order. Right? Law and order. To, to make order, right, to order yourself, you've got to start directing it. Right, you've got to be a leader. So you've got to look to more towards <laughs> <fuck knows. laughs> Pisces or Aries. But, you know, you, you, you've you got to look more towards the future than the past. Because here, it kind of like you're stuck between the past, present and future of an awakening. Just thinking, well, you know, spirit will kind of sort this out. No. Why do people think that spirit will sort it out? Why do you think they put it together? They put your karma together for you to get out of it yourself. That's why they put things together. They put connections together. They put marriage together. They put children together. Because they know it's going to happen, right? So why on earth would they just say, well, you know, we're, we're putting that together for you. 
but we will get you out of it when we think that's time and fit. No, because you are a spirit. You are an energy. We are all one energy, right? Is what you think or believe. So if you're one energy, who is it down to to get you out of it? One, right? The one gets you out of it. You, nobody else. So four, what I used to teach before anybody used to come out with the goddamn plain oxygen mask crap here, right? You hold yourself up in hold rega high regard. You hold your children up. You support them. The hand that rocks the cradle. If this is completely and utterly emotionally turmoil, you're going to get a whirlwind and a tower, right? So if you're not there to support your child in the best way and you just stay in it and everything is like, well, fuck, man, this is going everywhere. It's sort of shit and crap. Right? If I'm not there ever and I'm dead, then what do I do? <laughs> Nothing. No one to support you anymore. Right? So you have to make the decision. You are the support. You are the crutch. You are the person that someone relies on. Right? Here. If you're being lied to, then you're the person that has to pull the one under everybody's eyes to get out in order to be able to get this person back on their feet. Right? You have to be a tower to create a tower. Right? You are the tower. <laughs> Trust me, I am one. I am a seven, right? <laughs> but general perspective of this is whirlpools of emotion from here as a young age up to here. It's all suppressed emotions, all fights, it's all stuck energy. It's all down. Well, I just, ah, it's weighing me down. I can't move. I can't breathe. I'm just weighed down by society. I'm just weighed down by belief. You know, my cup is full. I can't create anything in life until I let go. I've got to have an empty cup to fill it. I have to have an empty life to start again. I have to have nothing to create something. That's how you create it, through nothing. Self-made, self-built, energy, manifesting. You have to have nothing to create something. And what you have is a pile of shit. Then really what you've got to create is nothing to have it. Which means that you haven't got to be there. Right. So if you're still there and you stay in it, just stay in it. Because you'll not get anywhere. You'll not get anywhere. You won't manifest. You won't believe society. You'll just believe that spirit has just put you in something. You'll probably blame other people, which means you're blaming a spirit. Good luck with that one. Okay, that you'll blame them. And then everybody blames you. Everybody keeps you stuck. Because what spirit is saying, that that is down to you now to get yourself out of something. Right? We're supposed to be showing you and providing you strength to not give a fuck about people. You know, no, love and light to everybody. Love and light to all the narcs. Mm, that's good <laughs> right no fuck them right you have to get yourself out of a situation to have nothing to create something from nothing believe you me I'm a self made person right so you have to have nothing to create something what you start to create is yours it's original it's honest it's yours you don't lie you don't cheat you just are honest Okay, you build it up from the ground up, you build your stable emotions and you become a masculine energy. You sort out between one and seven here. Your feminine energy here, your masculine energy here, or either way, here. More the lightning, here, grounded. Okay? So you look at that. You look at the stable the stability of your masculine side. Okay. Use it. Learn it. Pull the wall under people's eyes. Drop them. Drop. <laughs> drop it stop fighting because trust me while you're in that fight or flight mode and that you're drent drenched <laughs> sorry a bit my tongue when you're drenched in that much karma you will just stay in the circumstance for ages just thinking well there's surely got to be a way out of this at some point and then when it comes crunch time do you get weak at the knees thinking ah uh, you know what I'll stop smoking next year I'll stop drinking. Ah, well, you know, I can't do it yet, so give it another couple of years and then I'll stop. Pfft, bruv, that time just goes by. No. It's about starting now, right? It's about starting now to do it. Because when it comes crunch time, you won't want to. You won't want to because you will have built up that much fear and anxiety for the future. Because this will be past, present and future all in two cards. You'll have, you'll have that much fear about leaving and moving on and moving forward that when it comes to crunch time, you'll just be, you've had that many thoughts that, you know what, I don't think that I can physically do this. So I'll just stay and give it another go. I don't want to give it a go. I can't bear the circumstance that I'm in, but you know what, I'm just prepared to wait. See if anybody will help me. No, fuck no. 
help yourself here help yourself because it's seen as leadership of people that can know how to help themselves here because if someone if, if they're helping themselves to money or situations or anything like that you've kind of got theft here right? so you know Libra <laughs> Libra 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 what are we going to do with you what are we going to do with you trust me I have a Libra Vedic somewhere Ketu facing up <laughs> fuck knows uh, yeah so I'm very diplomatic you know but um Let's see. I don't really relate with Libra though when I watch Star Signs. You know. But uh, yeah, see, I'm bezazzled by somebody. Bezazzle or vajazzle here. Someone's got a vajazzle or a vagina. <laughs> so, either angina, and that might be why you're staying because there's an elderly person that has angina, or you're called Angelina and Jolie. Brangelina. We are part of the society. <laughs> you know what I mean, Harry? But, uh, yeah, you're part of the front knows. I mean, you know, I'm just staying here, just waiting for the relationship of a lifetime to come on, you know, <laughs> just waiting for my love life to come on. Oh, dear. What's going on? Libra. Why do I pick up a weird energy? <laughs> two, two, look at you. Peek at you, peek at you, number two. I'm waiting for my number two. I'm just waiting to talk to you, number two. Twit, woo, look at you. <laughs> Ooh, do, 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 do's. The twos, the terrible twos. Someone's got twins. You've got a soulmate energy that it seems to just be like, well, I'll save you and I'll just wait here. <coughs> I think you're waiting, Libra, for something. What's this Nine of Swords? Waiting for my twin flame soulmate. Yep, told you. You need to look for Aries energy. And if you're an Aries in this state, then stop it. <laughs> He's not helping. Shit. No, 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 no. Aries that's worried sick about their kids, about their children, about their daughter, about the investments and money, relationship. Worst nightmares coming true. How do I create a number two if I'm worried about it? How do I meet a person in life if I'm an unstable two? Right? How do I ever meet anybody in life that can see the way I do? And if I want a number two and I'm just waiting and not acting upon anything, then what do I do? I'm just sit in the two of cups. Just wait. But no. No, you don't wait for life to create you. You create life. Because you create the lie. Someone's creating a lie here. Making more of a drama out of a crisis that's needed. And I don't know what that is because I'm hearing I'm creating a lie. I'm making it, well, even not. It's kind of like when the subconscious has created that much fear that it's created more of the illusional state of things that are happening that may physically not be which means there's kind of evidence, but there really isn't any. So it's an energy that's stuck that I'm grabbing hold of and keeping hold of it, but it's creating more of a Chinese whispers lie than anything else that's true facts, which means I'm just going to keep doing that. But the more you think about this, the more that you'll create an illusion or self, right? See, so because I'm picking up that someone's creating an illusion themselves, right? More of a trapped energy of creating an illusion of, of too much information that's not really necessary. It's not really necessary. Right? I don't know what those, why those messages are there, but they are. Uh, Queen of Pentacles. The moon. Because I'm a mum. Stressed out mother. Just staying here. Why have I got this feeling that Yeah, I mean, you you all definitely got very controlling parents, you know. But, you know, I mean, because some of this I feel is created by a person. 
Um, which means that you would look at it that it's created by another, which is God's creation of children, right? All children, great and small. So if I created a child, then I can't leave them. I've just got to stay here. Because it's kind of like, you know what, it's kind of like I'm accepting my karma because I'm a mum. I can't bear the situation that I'm in. But I'm creating more of that by physically not taking actions to change my life. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I created someone, I give up my whole life for them, and that's what I will do till the end of time. But I'm looking for a way out that I can easily get out of by not giving something up. Right? Meaning that you want it all by not giving up. Like, I don't want to... Don't give up. Kate Bush. But I don't want to give up. I don't want to give them up. Or I don't want to give up a place, town, city, or a person. And I don't want to give up on them. But I can't bear what I'm in in order to create a better future for them to come to me when I get there. Right? Anything. Spiritually, a place... In order for me to do that, I have to create something myself first for energy to come towards me as a gravitational pull that your energy is clear. You see? I've made a clear decision, a firm decision to do something for myself. My energy is now clear. Energy gravitates towards an energy that has clear decisions, clear, decisive thinking. Energy that is pure, not trapped. All right. Decisive energies or uh, precise energy other than slicing and dicing and fucking God knows and yeah, karate and fighting, right? So you've kind of got these messages that are here in your past of like, well, I can, all I can really do is just be a mum, not like the circumstance I'm in, have to keep fighting with my exes and so on and so forth or fighting the government. In order to create something better for myself, there is something here that has to be let go of for you to be able to physically get out of this situation. What that is is going to be completely and utterly different for all of you. Right? Completely different than all of you. Because the emperor can be a company owner, business owner, right? And it can be that you can't fight major corporations because I'm picking up that I'm going to fight a major corporation and I can't take them under all on my own. I need evidence first before I can take all of them down. But how long have you done that? You see? So I'm picking up that in order to take this corporation down, I need to gather as much info as I can. But how long have you been, like, how long is a piece of string? Is there any possible ever amount of chance that you can win you know because you've got this overbearing energy of where it's more controlled energy of like no i can't take them down but i'm gonna keep doing it right so you've definitely got a lot of fight or flight energy here that is persisting you wait your love life might be okay here you might have an interest of a two of cups that can pull you from Karma, drama, energies, right? Libra. But uh, it's more held against my will and I can't. Now that's either coronavirus, but like I said, if you're going to keep doing this for another year, your year will be exactly the same until you start acting upon these things, right? Action. Action, Jackson, Jackie, Jackson, Jacksonville. Tennessee, Hennessy, whiskey, <laughs> um, the whiskey a go go, Jim, Jim, uh, anyway, we're gonna, uh, no, we're not gonna finish just there, uh, Libra. That's slightly your past, guys. See what Mrs. I can pick up, but let's see what's gonna be happening for your February 2021 for Libra. So you get communication, you start communicating with someone, it could be a Leo, but it could be anybody. But generally you start communicating and talking with somebody. Okay, the lines are open. 
which means there's an open line, direct line to something, which can be uh, a direct line to help, which means someone that you can call for help. Ghostbusters. <laughs> Largest ghost. There you go. There you are. <laughs> right? So there's a call for help. Right? Emergency services, all that sort of thing. But a call for help. It's no good crying for help. You've got to call for it. Right? Let's see. Uh, Libra. Libra summarising Venus and Jupiter. February, hangman, Pisces, for a lot of you. She could be your saving energy, or it could be someone that you're stuck with here. Stuck on like glue, here. Stuck on like glue. How do I get stuck in this with you? How did I get stuck in this with you? How did I bring you into this? Can I bring you into this? Are you already in this? <laughs> Is what I'm hearing. Are you into me? Are you not into me? Do you want to enter me? <laughs> I mean, what are you entering? The Twilight Zone? <laughs> But like, do you want to enter? Can I enter? Is it okay to ask? Because this Piscean energy, they just, this hangman, they just sit here, having to really not do much. So it's kind of a waiting energy of call, right? So it's a call for help here. Someone that is willing in order to, because they are just here. So they're here, this person. So, uh, Eight of Swords, Eight of Wands is talking here to a Pisces. Now, if that's someone that you don't like, don't get on with, or blah, 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 I don't know, people are, you're talking with someone here, it could be a Leo, Pisces, uh, let's see, Libra, Libra, summarizing Venus and Jupiter for February, wow, you could be going into a relationship, or oh, this person already is, it's up to you here, <coughs> but this is a connection, Okay, you could be married with this person already somewhere. It could be your children or anything like that, but you would normally likely be going into a relationship or, or, or this person is already in one because this is a, a spiritual connection. It's a marriage. It's a relationship. It's going into that. Now, if you're not going into it, what you need to do is get out of it, you know, because there's this energy of that I am presently already stuck with this person. It's the person that I love and the person that I'm with. If you're fighting against this person, it's because they're in that, you know. You have to look at it both sides of the scale. But uh, Leo energy here could well be talking with a Pisces, Taurus energy here, Libra. Because that could be uh, the father, stepfather, father, moon and uh, hierophant. It can be a stepfather, stepmom situation. It could be people around your environment or work, where you work here. It could be these people around here. What you do of common interest of work. But generally as this stands, that you should be here going into a relationship. Libra. Libra, Sydney, Rising, Venus and Jupiter for uh, February 21th of Libra. Wow, someone is in love with a beautiful woman. I mean, is it woman? Or is it when a man loves a woman? Who knows? Could have a big nose. Who knows? <laughs> but um, what is it with all these stupid little rhyme things that I keep coming out with just lately? Um, yeah, yeah y'all should be talking to this person here because this is a feminine, masculine person, really. So I just thought I was mad at like a hippie at the moment. Uh, the, the shops here are still not open for haircuts. <laughs> but Haircut 100 is what I'm hearing. Haircut 100. That's a song, right? A band. Um, yeah. Man, I mean, what's the problem? Why, why was I channeling that? Because there really shouldn't really be any issue there. Because there's talking here with Pisces, Taurus going into a relationship. I'm already presently in one with a person that I love here. Bam. Bam, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Unless it depends on how the rest of the reading goes and is clarified. Because all of y'all out there that are like, no, I fucking hate the person. That's probably because it's not finished and it gets clarified. <laughs> right? But generally, you know, 
when you clarify a card, it can say what is individually going on with a card. You know, which means that if I clarify one of these cards, it might mean that this person is going through this individually themselves with the person you're talking to. <laughs> As deeper looks at readings, you know. But it would take me all day. <laughs> it would take me all day. Uh, let's see, Libra, Summary Rising Venus and Jupiter 4. Man. Damn, man. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Yo, it's got to be talking to this person, right? There's no doubt about it. There's no doubt about it. Knight of Cups. That's talking. It's physical action. Physical talking. And action. <laughs> Go. Yeah. You're getting some sort of action here. You're talking, that's for sure, because you've got feelings for this person. You've got emotions for them. You're all wound up and twangled up with this person. Yep. You have, because feelings are here, emotions are here, stability is here, the hierophant is here, which means that if you are fighting with this person, it's because they're already in a relationship or married. But it should be potentially going into a relationship here. Could be an interest of someone that you've got at work. Yeah, it could be an interest of someone that you've got at work. If not, this person is just in love with their work here. In love with their work, uh, what they do. But potentially for you guys out there that know of a person that you're thinking, yeah, that's that person, you should be talking with this person here. You should be talking. Because there should be a, an answer and a response. You should get a response from this person. I'm also hearing a responsible adult, a responsible person, or uh, I'm looking for a response. Sponsor. A sponsorship. Some of you are looking for citizenship or sponsorship. Okay, is what I'm hearing. Sponsorship, citizenship, or you work for the Citizen Bureau or something, Citizen's Bureau, Child Protection. It's all here, Citizen's, Bu Citizen's Advice. Here, I've never been, never needed to really, but here they have a thing called citizen, citizen, man, Citizen's Advice. Citizen, citizen's Advice. Jesus. Citizen's Advice. Okay. It's just a place that you can go to for, for free advice. They don't charge you, they give you free advice and you tell them and they tell you everything that they know free to the way you can go to get advice. Okay, so whatever that is for you guys, <laughs> hey you guys, it might be that this person would say that or you are doing that, but they're a responsible citizen. <laughs> I still can't say it. Citizen, okay. Um, sorry, because I also do have a cleft palate. Well, not a cleft palate. I have unaligned teeth. My teeth are not like, I. Uh, you know, some people are like really goofy or whatnot. Okay, I should have had a brace when I was younger, but I didn't. And uh, my front teeth don't match up equally when they close. So uh, sometimes I I talk slightly different. <laughs> I can't pronounce some words that some people do uh, as complete speech um, but citizen citizen <laughs> citizen 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 citania um, but yeah citania um, but yeah citizenship uh, bureau court you know going into a relationship as also out of one you know it's kind of here should be in one here should be going into that so as you're reading so far, Libra, sorry for your uh, lecture. We will only see what comes of this through the rest of your month. But it will be here, and I'll try my best in order to break down all of the parts of information that might be happening. But it happens nonetheless and regardless. But what those messages are is what Spirit has involved for you of your soul group lessons for this month. Okay, so that's what we go through. So if you want to join, this will be over on Patreon on Tier 1. And tier two, okay, both of them, because that's the monthly, so they go to both. If you go to the second one, which is the full access bundle, I don't know if I'm going to be putting the first lot out on YouTube, because I don't know if I'm going to have time. But I'm going to look into uh, singles and doubles, okay, and other messages to ask. That will be for the bi-weekly. I don't know if it's going straight to Patreon yet, because sometimes I change mine, it depends on what time I've got. Generally, they only normally, the first, first of the 15th, go straight to Tier 2 Patreon, 
and they don't come out on here. Depends on what time I've got, right? They normally go there. So if you're joining it, you get yearlies, bi-weeklies, you get all of the extendeds, you get to see this one, all the rest, you get the uh, soul, uh, soul contract readings, you get the life path readings, whatever I do to change it up, different questions, different answers, thoughts, feelings, blah, 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 whole backlog, back catalogue full of stuff. It all goes to the full access bundle, that's why it's called that. <laughs> okay, so if you're ever wondering where readings are and you want to see extendeds and they may not have come out over here, you really have to be over on that tier. That's why I've tried to keep it as minimal and as cheap as possible as a whole month where you get Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, your partner, uh, messages, different things, different flavours, different stuff. It's just an ongoing thing if you want to join. But it's up to you. You can join, leave, come back later, do whatever you want. But obviously I want people to stay, but it's there as an option. Okay. So that is your reading so far, Libra. All info is provided below if you want to reach out for a personal reading or anything like that. But you can reach out from below. You can find the link for Patreon, Angel Radio, anything like that. Just ask, do things, look around things. They're all there. Playlists, God knows what else. Stuff that you may not have even realized is there of advice. <laughs> Playlists. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Thanks very much. And I'll hopefully see you over on Patreon.